Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. I'm going to show you how to do this in Design Space today. We're going to whip this up really quickly. Just a quick little either, this could be a cake topper, just table decor, or like a party prop, a photo prop. So it's just super cute. It's on a straw um, topper with an acrylic stick inside just to make sure that it's really stable. Um, there's a tutorial on how to assemble it, but this we're going to do this in design space. So one of the things I really wanted to point out is that look at how stable that is. We've got little glyphs. We've got a, um, a teacup that should be really heavy, right? And this little, you know, fun little guy out here. And yet it's still really, really stable. So that's really important to me because <laughs> uh, you don't want it flimsy. So anyway, we're going to build it right now and I'm going to flip the cameras. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, now is a great time to do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to flip this over. Give me one second. <coughs> and I apologize. <coughs> There's going to be some coughing in this video, I cannot shake this cough. It's been, it's been about 10 days, which is why you haven't seen um, any videos from me. I've been avoiding it, but I can't avoid it anymore. So, all right, here we go. Uh, first up is the font. This is from Creative Fabrica. I love it. I want to show you because it's the style that I like. I. I can't walk away from it. So there's, it's always gonna be that little whimsical handwriting kind of font that I like. Um, but it's just a little bit different so that it's not exactly like everything that you've seen. So one of the things that I really liked is the O. The O is just gorgeous. There's a little opening. There's like a little gap right there. I like the little swooshes. So let me show you what that looks like. Um, these are all the extras, right? So um, it's not always easy to access. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So, okay, so first thing is, if you don't have Creative Fabrica and you wanna try it, it's just a dollar, and it gives you a whole week's um, worth of, uh, of a trial membership. So I would highly recommend download as much as you want in that week. Decide whether or not this is for you. I have the membership and I absolutely love it. I love, the fonts, the, the fonts, the backgrounds that I can use for print and cut. Um, it's definitely worth it for me. So anyway, um, if you use my link and you decide to keep the membership, there's a 30% off that's automatically applied every month. So you want to make sure you use the link. Um, okay. So once you download it, let's go into design space. This is what this design looks like in design space. Okay. So we've got the name, and then we've got the teacup, and this is what it looks like when we put it together. So first thing is, let's go and do the name. Then the font is Willow, so we're gonna do Olivia, right? And look how different Olivia looks when you first type it out. It doesn't have the swishes. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so what you wanna do is, I like using font type. Um, main type, I apologize. Um, main type is free, so all you need to do is Google it if you don't have it. Google main type, download the free version. So what happens is all your fonts fall in here. It's in this middle section right here. So here's Willow, and here are all my options for Willow, which I really like. So uh, first thing is I want the O with the little glyph in front of it, right? So you can see it right here. And I'm gonna, it's highlighted, I'm gonna hit Control C. I'm gonna go back into Design Space and I'm gonna click on a text box and just hit Control V. So it replaces the text that was there with this O. What is important to note though, and I'll um, let's ungroup this and I'll do it on the next one, is that when you are dropping in the new font, you need to make sure that the text box matches the same font, okay? So let's go back into main type and let's get the A with the swoosh at the end, which is this one. I'm gonna hit Control C and when I go into design space, I'm gonna click a new text box. This text box has to have the same font 
as the one we're dropping in, okay? So just hit Control V and there's our A. I'm gonna remove this, I'm gonna add this over here. And now we have Olivia matching this. You wanna grab this whole thing and you wanna weld it so that you don't have the cut lines. Olivia is one long name, okay? Then what you wanna do is you wanna go to your offset. I personally like a really, really thin offset. I'm gonna do 0 0.05 and hit tab and it should update and look at that. I love it. We're gonna hit apply and I'm gonna change the colors so that it matches our, um, um, our actual cut design, okay? So that means Olivia is in a yellow glitter cardstock. The first offset is white, and then we're gonna do another offset. And that offset is in pink, okay? Um, then we're gonna get our teacup. So let's go and go into images and search for teacup. And hopefully I can find it. Um, it's a super cute one that I want to use again. Oh, here it is. And look, it, it has, oh, hold on. Let me move my face over so you can see it better. Okay, so we're going to select this one and add to canvas. Now, if you notice the teacup, we don't have the face in there because she's going to a tea party. And so it's not exactly the look I was going for, but I liked the little tea bag. I just thought it was cute. So what you wanna do is on um, this white one, we're gonna go to contour and we're just gonna hide everything. We don't want the eyes and the little nose. So there you have it. Then we can get rid of these little extras that they added on here, okay? So I deleted that. Um, now I wanted to keep this to the same colors that matched the actual party prop, right? Olivia in 33 inches. So I didn't have any black. I'm gonna change that black to a dark blue. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna resize everything. Oh, we need the number five. So let's go to text and put in number five. We're going to make that pink. Then we're gonna do an offset. I'm gonna do 0 0.05 again. And we're gonna make that offset white. Then we're gonna do another offset, apply, and I'm gonna make that yellow, okay. Um, I'm gonna group this so that it moves together as one. I'm gonna group this because we need to resize everything. So I'm just regrouping everything. All right, so here's the five. And it's gonna go right there. And now we're gonna grab this and make it a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit, and move this over here. Now, if I like how everything looks, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna duplicate it, and I'm gonna weld it. This gives me that solid background um, in the back so that it keeps my whole cake topper super steady, right? So I'm gonna send this to the back. And there you have it. So this though is only, it's about 5.7 inches. Um, I think I made mine um, eight inches. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. So that matches almost, almost the same. And that's it. Super easy, right? Um, and you've got this. It's so fun and you saw the, it's so easy to whip up a quick one like this. So um, the key is to layer um, and then also make sure that you copy the whole thing and weld it so that you have a background, a solid back that has everything. You won't even see that layer, right? That last layer, 
this one, well, you can't even see it. That blue in the, in the name Olivia, you don't see it. So it doesn't have to be noticeable at all. It's just to give you stability. And in fact, um, if I could redo this, I would probably duplicate that layer and have two layers in the back like that, arranged them to the back. Um, all right, that is it. Super easy, right? All right, let me know if you have any comments or questions, anything else that you wanna see. I think I'm gonna do a few more Olivia projects just because it's so stinking cute. I might do a little, a little tea bag, I mean a little chip bag that looks like a tea bag. I don't know, we'll see. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye.